is a horse of a lifetime. Well, firstly, I was just as happy that we were in the race, never mind anything. We sprinted him up the day before and um, he sprinted very well, but he, he knocked himself on his coronet. He wasn't the bravest of horses and if he got a, a cut or a scratch, he, he would be half, he would think he's half dead. Um, on the Saturday morning, you know, I couldn't work him and we just walked him and uh, it swelled up a little bit and um, oh, he, was, he was trotting sore. Then, you know, uh, the next morning, um, we didn't know that he was going to run un un until we took him out and we cantered him on the, on the track and when we cantered him on the track he was sound. Here we go in the long jeans, Hong Kong Mile and they're set and ready and they're racing. Yeah, the, he, uh, we, we weren't favourite, you know, we were second favourite but uh, um, you know, he, he, he got the ideal draw for him because you know, he liked to be drawn on the outside and Zach put him into, into, a, into a lovely spot. He's coming, the dragon. Glorious days being tackled by Ambitious Dragon. And the horse of the year, Ambitious Dragon, passed all the vet tests to run, and Ambitious Dragon wins it for Zach Purton. It's what it's about, you know, all the best horses coming coming to, to together, you know, east versus west. That's for us, it's it's the biggest deal. He, he won group ones from 14, 16, 18, 2000. You know, he's just one of those horses that um, is a horse of a lifetime. Ultimately, you know, uh, we got him in class four and we took him to be a two times horse of the year. You know, that took a lot of satisfaction that uh, we were able to do that. And, um, you know, that as a trainer, you've got to use your skill to actually get there.